Okay. Hi guys. So, um, today I'm going to talk about, whoa, let me just get on your level, do some squatting. Um, I'm going to talk about how and why I registered my schoolie in Vermont. Um, I've had a couple of people ask me about the process, wanting to do something similar. So I'm just going to briefly talk about that process, what that looks like today. Um, I'm going to link all the documents you need in the description below so you can find all of that easily and just print it out and send it on in and hopefully you'll be okay. Um, so why I registered my schoolie in Vermont. Um, so Vermont's a loophole state, meaning you don't have to actually live there to register a car or in my case, a bus there. Um, South Dakota is a similar, similar state. Um, and I don't think South Dakota requires inspection stickers, so if you don't live around here, that might be the better option, because legally, you're supposed to have an inspection sticker. Um, so, why Vermont? Why not Massachusetts? Uh, Massachusetts sucks. Like a lot of other states with schoolies, they just refuse to, uh, recognize them as motorhomes. So it's nearly impossible to get your your bus, a commercial vehicle titled as a motorhome. I couldn't even get commercial insur insurance through Massachusetts. So for the drive home, I had to get insurance out of Florida on a commercial policy. Don't, <laughs> don't even get me started. That was a fucking nightmare. Um, so I'm honestly probably going to get Vermont insurance too, which is a different, a different story. Sorry, my dog's being weird. Um, so you need to print out three forms. The first one is obviously the, the application. Um, I wanna highlight one part of the application. It's the type of registration. Um, you're gonna wanna check motorhome because that's the kind of registration you want, not the kind of registration you currently have. Um, and the number for that that coincides with motorhome is 19. I don't know why it just is so in that part you'll see where it is um check motorhome or other i forget i did this a while ago just making the video now um and then do motorhome and then they ask for a bunch of stuff a lot of it's self-explanatory um just make sure for color you do every any any color except yellow they don't want your bus to be yellow even if it currently is yellow just put what color you're going to paint it you just can't have a yellow motorhome bus thing um and then you're going to pay i think it's a six percent tax on what you paid for your vehicle either that or the cali blue book value of your vehicle Whatever's more, you're going to pay the 6%, I think it is, tax on that. Um, so just look up whichever ones. More. Next form you need, moving on, um, is the odometer disclosure statement, which is pretty self-explanatory. It just says, this is how many miles are on my current vehicle, how many miles it's been driven. Um... I don't know why they need that, but they do. And then the next one is the just bill of sale disclosure agreement. I think it's called that. Um, obviously I didn't have this form present when I bought my bus. So I filled it out to the best of my ability with my contact information, the person I bought it from's contact information, my signature. I didn't include their signature because I didn't want to forge a signature I didn't have. Um, but just with that, the information I did have, it was enough. Um, and then those are the three forms that you need from the Vermont DMV. And then you're going to want to include a copy of your title. Do not send them your original title. You're sending this in the mail. There's so many things that could go wrong. Send them a copy. They accepted my copy. Fine. And then I also sent them a copy of my bill of sale. Um, even though they had the like bill of sale agreement, I sent both. Better to have 
both and to need something. And then I just sent a little sticky note that said, if you need my license or proof of insurance, um, please reach out to me at, and then I just dropped my email. Um, and then obviously I sent the check with the amount calculated. Your amount's gonna be different than mine because I'm sure we paid different amounts for our buses. So that just takes a little bit of math. I would say that's probably the, the hardest part of it. Um, and then I think with those five or six forms, put them all sealed up tight in a little envelope. And then I got my, my plates back in about a month. And then the registration came shortly after that. So I have a Vermont schoolie. Um, and then I said, I'm also going to get Vermont insurance just cause Massachusetts fucking sucks. I already tried calling Geico for um, insurance. And as soon as you read off the VIN, they're like, that's a school bus. You, we don't cover that kind of thing. So what you can do, finessing the system a little bit, um, is you can get a uh, mailbox, PO box in Vermont, just through like USPS or UPS, something like that. I haven't done that yet. Um, and then you have a Vermont address, so you can get Vermont insurance. So that's what I'm planning on doing. Um, it's really not, oh, wants to say hi. It's really not um, a hard process. Um, definitely just double check that you got all of the correct information. Um, and yeah, as long as you have as much information that you have filled out on the forms that I mentioned, you should be good. Um, it was pretty, pretty seamless for me. Like I said, I got it back in about a month. Um, so yeah, if you have any, any, any questions at all about the process or want to talk to me more or have a specific question about the code or no, about the form, um, shoot me a DM, send me a question here, send me a, a Facebook friend request. I have no idea. Um, yeah, I'm always around trying to share my limited wealth of knowledge, but yeah, I hope if you're considering doing this, um, that it goes as well for you as it did for me, because this was one of the easiest things that I, I did for my schoolie. And I thought it was going to be a painstaking long process. And it was surprisingly just so easy. Um, so yeah, that's how I registered my schoolie in Vermont. So toodaloo. So this was the part that I was talking about. You don't need to see my um, serial number, but um, under this part, body type, you want it to say motorhome. You um, don't want to put what the current body type is. You want to put what you want it registered as. Same with over here. You want to check um, registration plate type, other, motorhome, and then put 19 there. I don't know why. It just, that's what it is. Um, and that's the registration fee, the tax I paid, and then I don't know why I paid for the title. I didn't end up getting the title, so don't do that unless you're doing all the paperwork. And then, as you can see, I overpaid $35 for the title. So, there you go.